Is it fair for transgender athletes to compete in women's sports? This question has sparked intense debate in the world of professional golf, and it's all centered around one name, Haley Davidson. As the first transgender golfer to compete at the LPGA Tours Q School, Davidson's participation has ignited both praise and controversy. But what does this mean for the future of women's golf, and why is a former LPGA star speaking out? Stick around as we dive into the heated discussion. Haley Davidson has made history, becoming the first transgender golfer to compete at the LPGA Tours Q School. Over the weekend, Davidson secured her spot in the next round of the competition, finishing tied for 42nd at Rancho Mirage in California. This achievement allows her to move forward to the qualifying tournament in Venice, Florida, set for October 15th to 18th. If she performs well, Davidson could advance to the final qualifier in December, where players will vie for a place on the Epson Tour, the official developmental tour of the LPGA. But while Davidson's journey is a groundbreaking one, it hasn't been without its critics. Among the voices of dissent is former LPGA Tour player Amy Olson. Olson, who recently retired to focus on motherhood, didn't hold back her thoughts. In a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, Olson labeled Davidson's participation as unfair, arguing that female athletes have worked too hard and too long to have to stand by and watch a man compete for and take their spot. Olson's stance reflects a growing concern among some in the sports community about the fairness of transgender athletes competing in women's events. The LPGA Tour, however, has an inclusion policy in place for transgender athletes, a policy that's been in effect since 2010 when the organization removed its female at birth requirement. The policy allows transgender women to compete if they have undergone gender reassignment surgery and maintained specified hormone levels for at least a year. Despite this, Davidson's inclusion in the Q School has reignited debates about gender, fairness, and competition in women's sports. Davidson herself hasn't shied away from the controversy. In response to critics, she posted on Instagram, I will never understand athletes who blame a transgender competitor for their own athletic failures. If you don't take accountability for your failures, then you will never actually be good enough to make it. Davidson's journey to this point hasn't been easy. She last competed as a male golfer in 2015 before beginning hormone therapy and undergoing gender reassignment surgery in 2021. Her story is one of perseverance and challenge, yet it raises complex questions about inclusion and equity in sports. That's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Should transgender athletes like Haley Davidson be allowed to compete in women's sports? We'd love to hear your opinions. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any updates from Celeb Explore Hub.